Hey guys, Richard from Fret Junkies and we are back. Um, this video is going to be a quick video, um, just sharing some stoke with you. Uh, I've been after a particular sound for a little while and um, kind of like a vintage rock sound. I like that old free sound, you know, um, and um, I've been trying to emulate it by a pedal for a long time and I've uh, kind of the evolution of playing my pedal board now is is just I make a pedal board up and within two days it's a part again. My pedal board is pretty much a, a pedal or two on top of the amp. Um, I've got my Our Weaver Midnight Vibe that I run if I want to vibe. Um, other than that, it's usually a dry pedal which will change. And a, a fuzz of some concussion. But I'm going off topic now. What I was going to where this comes around full circle is is I like straight in tones. And um, I was after an amp that could do that. Uh, after loads of research and you know looking and listening to loads, I kind of like the tweed sound, but then I realized the tweed sound is only going to serve me as a tweed sound, uh, you know, and I wanted a bit more, you know, diversity to be able to do something with it, which led me to the Orange Rocker Verb series, um, like the MK1, like the MK2, the MK3 was amazing, but was really out of my price range, um, but luck, you know, luckily enough, a lot of searching and and a, and a bit of luck my way. I managed to come across this MK3 here, second hand, pristine condition, all the original PM tubes in it. Um, the guy hadn't even opened it up by the looks of it, not changed anything in there. It's just it's stunning. I'm, I'm super thankful to own it. Um, I've changed the preamp section and put some of my old glass in there. I'm going to change the power tubes as well. Um, but other than that, I'm not messing with it. The, the tone is just amazing. It is exactly what I wanted. Um, and the built-in attenuator is magic. I mean, the reverb's good. Um, the EQ section is really, really, you know, uh, prominent. And and the knobs on there actually change. They're notched knobs, so you can get to a point that you like the sound and kind of leave it there, which I thought was really cool. Um, the drive channel is just amazing. It is just everything I wanted and more. I've watched reviews. You know, there's a um, uh, a guitarist review where they say it just sounds proper and that's the way to explain it. It just feels and sounds like an old record. Uh, there's that Rat Sully video, What is the Orange Sound? Um, this is the Orange Sound. It's somewhere in between like a plexi and a driven basement of some sort or something. There's something very right about it. It feels amazing to play and like I said, the attenuator on this is, I'm used to working with an attenuator on a hot plate. It does knock some of the tone off. Um, so you might have read online that it doesn't, it does. It definitely takes some top end off. Um, but it's a small sacrifice to be able to get them great tones at, at a real quieter volume. I'm just gonna um, play through the Dirty Channel um, with two humbucker guitars. And I'm gonna do like a whole series on, the, on this amp um, because I, it opens up so much. I wanna run it alongside the Vibroverb and have the Vibroverb clean with the Vibroverb. Um, reverb and run this a dirty channel. Um, I'm going to run how to fuzz a sound through a clean amp and through a dirty amp. It's just so much, you know, scope to play with this. Um, but for now, I'm just going to give you some of my favorite tones. It is it is super playable. The, the clarity is fantastic. The articulation, the, the note separation, all that kind of stuff is right on point. I couldn't be happier. Also, the cab, worth noting, is a um, upcycled amp I had in storage for about f six years. It's an old Hayden cab, and um, it had a vintage 30 in, so I chopped the cab down, um, took the head out, left the speaker in, and just dressed it to impress, as you can see. And, um, and yeah, it's just working, you know? A lot of people, you know, go for the two by 12 and all that, but right now this is serving me well. Um, so yeah, no more talking, like I said. Um, thanks for being here, you know? And um, let's get into the films. Mm -hmm. 